Oma! Daughter of Akabaka, from the descendant of Ajuli. You bear a seed, a gift which I gave in exchange for nothing. On a mission, she has come. What, what gift do you speak of? And what seed do I bear? Who are you? In the gap of existence, I stood when nothingness was the earth. Side by side, I watched the very existence that once existed exit. In my bosom begot life with a promise from the maker that what I gave shall be returned in one piece. I am Annie, mother of the earth, ruler of the underworld, guardians of harvest and goddess of fertility, of that which draws breath and all the creatures to the field. With my hands, I have nurtured you. You are a bearer. From the making of the earth, I already selected you for a task which you must fulfill. Chosen, you are. descendant of Eze Ifekebeya is enveloped with death. And that means everlasting doom. for peace or loss to the land. I tremble at your presence. Come, let's give you a place you will rest. A man who is on a dicey mission will find the word rest offensive. I came with a message. But when the Ikoro from Oru sounds in the afternoon, then is a warning that war is inevitable. I see the evil hovering over the land. Igwe Omenka, prepare for the calamity that will befall this land if 
not averted. Wise one, do you speak about the prophecy? The evil days looms, and surely it will come. I have spoken as I had. Onyosi Adara Twelu Igwer. I take my leave. My king. Hmm? Akeka Sanye is so serious. It is only a foolish man that will take Akeka's words for granted. Hmm. I think we need to find out what the problem is. Um, Mazin Joko. I'm here. I'll look for a solution as soon as I can. I pray it is averted. Now, what are we going to do next? Go home and pray for solution. Father, you are moody. Talk to us. Akeka was here. And his presence in the palace is not to be taken for granted. Did he mention anything? He swears we are crooked. And from all indications, he's pointing to the prophecy. I've always prayed to the gods that they will avert it because none of you is ready. Ready? Ready for what? Ikenna is my first son and I love him. Everybody loves him. Not only that, everybody in this community loves him. And they want us to help him. It's time. Father, you are confusing me the more. We all know that he can measure your first son, no doubt. He will become the next king. I thought you wanted to say something about the prophecy. Yes, the prophecy. Do you know anything about this? My children, the family is about sacrifice. And when the time comes, let us not hold back. We should be proud to help each other. I want to look at 
Just the way you like it. My dear child. I wonder what will happen to me when you will go to be with your husband. I'm sure you know that he will not have any other choice than to love you wholeheartedly. Mother, marriage is not in my plan now. When the time comes, I'll get married. But that will be with a condition. With a condition that I'll take you along with me. For now, allow me to take care of you in the best way I can. Hmm. My wonderful daughter. You were sent to come and wipe away my tears. Hmm. I wish your father was here to see the kind of woman his loins has finally produced. Slowly you are becoming a woman <laughs> and very soon you will go and be with your own husband who will take care of you, love you, just the way my husband loved me. The throne of the shall born, and the glory of the family will be forgotten. Like a dead vulture shall you be in the only day shall be in the With our minds we rule with the purity of the And at this very beginning, you shall return when the earth has been ruled creatures and what do they stand for? To crown it all they called me a name that is far from my name. The Kimba, the son of his Nifeki Bear. That's not my name. That's not even my father's name nor my grandfather's name. Destruction awaits those who break words with me, the goddess of Ani, with its working intention. For your impudence shall be keen to the bosom of the earth. I shall have no mercy. The blood of your unborn will I feed on. Drink the blood and quench your thirst. 
Drink the blood and quench your thirst. Drink the blood and quench your thirst. None shall be and will ever be. It is quite unfortunate, my prince. This is a prize we all owe to life. Take heart, my prince. Ujumwa, what happened to you? You carried this pregnancy for good seven months. Why didn't you complete it and have your child? Oh, death. Again, you slapped me on the face. Like I said, my prince, I'm sorry about the loss. I'm very, very sorry. But we have to do the need for this moment. We have to sign the documents so that we can proceed to the Okay? If you move too well, I'm alive in the hands of our maker. And I pray I should be asking him to take care of us and to protect us from the face of problems. Iwe, if they can take care of Sparrow, how much more the mortars 
he made in his likeness. Look, she will deliver in peace. Joku. I'm here. Oh, but my wife said that she's not up to nine months. So why is she in labor now? Igwe. Hmm? The number of days, months, and weeks, even hours, a child stays in the mother's womb does not matter. What matters much is for us to hear the cry of, of a newborn baby in the royal house. At least to be sure of the future. Not again, not again, not again. I chose to give me your soul. The sorrow for life. I chose to give. Not a cane, not a cane. I was To open the king of my I chose to give me up. I want to be a man. I want to be a I to be a I Again, we lose one who carries the heir to the throne of Ebenano. Son, put yourself together. Hmm? It's not the end of life. Father, my heart bleeds. Oh. My emotion failed me. Once again. I suffered the loss of the one I love to try and bet. It's okay. It's okay. Come down. Ghost. Those best. wise one. Wise one. Life has dealt me a very deep blow. My joy has been reduced to nothing. Greetings. Thanks for leaving Anna. Good. My son. It is not in your making that your wives die during childbirth. You are an upright man, one favored by the gods themselves. But you are haunted by the deeds of one man did that brought destruction to the people of Benano. Wise one, whose deed was it that has kept me in this unbearable pain? Wise one of Benano, what was it that was done that had brought grief? to my wives and unborn children. This is the fourth wife that I've married and died in a mysterious way during child's bed. Wise 
when that which gives life comes to take it no one can stand on its way wise one you will deny yourself the freedom as a prince of this kingdom because of what people are saying my son you shouldn't let that to bother you you shouldn't know this my son even if the girls and the goddess of this kingdom should come down in human clothing, people will still speak ill of them. You should understand that. What are we going to do? I am tired of this situation. I wish I know the cause of our problem. Well, your brother has gone to see Akeka. Let's pray he comes back with word of wisdom. I pray so. How do you expect me to feel, Father, when my joy has been rid of my hands continually? Most times, I no longer have value for that word joy because they make no meaning to me. The downfall of a man is not the end of his life. Better days are ahead, so please put yourself together. My brother, a man's illness can only be attended to when the source is found. I intend to ask this question. How can a man without arms babysit a child? I wear the shoe and I know where it pitches me the most. Father, my problems are rootless. Don't say that, son. There is no problem without a solution. And ours is not exceptional. Mine, father, not ours. It is my problem. I am your son. Also here, my brother, is also your son. My mother, your wife, is the queen of this land. Tell me, father, if I become the king of this land, who will be my successor? Sorry, Father. Beauty and the rising of the morning sun, you are. A divine creature, you are. Good morning. You must have left so early to the farm. A bed and knows that it's weak. Leaves early to avoid folks of stronger beds. I had to be quick before my mother becomes hungry. That's a wise thought. But I was thinking we could conclude on our previous discussion. What would it for your wood on my head? And a mother who awaits my return. Moreover, I have made it clear to you that I will never have any form of relationship with you. So channel your hungry emotions to somewhere else. I have to leave, please. 
Turning down a heart that loves you will be a sin before your maker. Every woman is made for a man. I am that man that God has made for you. I will not warn you again. Don't you ever in your miserable life lay your filthy hands on me again. Don't. What are you doing to my people? Is this the description of your love? Why are you killing innocent people for no just cause? It did. You brought upon yourself and your subjects. All the gods of the heavens and the gods that controls the rising and the falling of the sun. The gods give light to the moon. We are all present in the heaven. You spoke with your deceitful tongue. With your mouths, you made a promise of love. With your very being, you spoke the word inseparable, forcing my hands to accomplish your desires. When that which was promised was due, you turned your back on me. Making mockery of my existence, provoking my anger. Endless, Endless is your, your anger. anger. I am made of love. But your treachery has awoken the unspeakable part of Annie. Just like a fire set in Ozara knows no limits, so shall my anger be till everything in Itinasa is consumed by my anger. Their, their flesh, flesh we shall, shall feed on, their, their blood, blood we shall, shall drink. drink. Your voice of money shall be as melody, and we shall dance thereof. Amalija! No such word, it came back! My name is Annie. Annie Bebe. Sinabido Bebe. Son of Ezeibeki Beya, an offspring of the lion. My name is Ozo, son of Okesie. I know nothing about the name you mentioned. At the final knowledge of one, 
begins another. It's a twine we both are. You are mine and I'm yours. The word spoken of old, the same still exists to now. Unbreakable it is, and unbreakable it shall be. Just as of old, we shall be, and united we shall, till the end of age. Come. Listen, don't come to me. I don't know you, and I don't know what you're talking about. Come. Don't. Come to me. Stay away from me. Don't come close to me, don't! Come to me! No, 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 no! Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Ozemena, are you alright? How dare you invite me to my room without my cousin? I don't understand. Is there any law that restricts me from coming to your room? You are my elder brother and that does not give you the right to invade my privacy. Really? Yes. You sprang up from sleep like one being chased by the edge of your soul. You are sounding so strange. It's obvious something is wrong. I am your elder brother. If there is any problem, share it with me. Let us look for a way to solve it. Don't forget, we got each other's back. I'm fine. What are you doing? Father asked of you, so I came to check on you. I will see him at once. Excuse me. Good afternoon, man. How are you, young man? I'm fine. You're welcome. Thank you. It's mm. nice to see them. Go ahead. Thank you. Now. I hope there is no problem. Ah, no, there's no problem at all. Just that I came here with a heavy burden in my mind. I know with you everything will be easy for me. That's why I'm here. A burden in your heart. Yes. Young man, what can I do for you? How can I make this burden easier? Well, ma, it's about your your daughter Ifeyim. Yes, there's no problem. There's no problem. It, it, it's just that um, I have, on counselor education, made my intentions known to her. I, 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 I pleaded with her for us to become friends. But she is proving otherwise. That, that's why I have come to, to beg you to help me speak some words into her mind. I know with you, everything will be easy for me. Please, ma'am. I, I am not like every other guy. I am different. Okay? So, so, 
So please, I, I need you to speak some words into her mind. I, I know she listens to you and, and with you everything will be made easier for me. Please, ma. When a man is in love, please, ma. he will do whatever he deems fit please, to clear the path to get to the heart of the woman he loves. <laughs> My son, you are not an exceptional son of a banana. But there is one thing I want you to know. My daughter, if a young woman is old enough to choose the path she wants to follow, you know, go mom. I, I, I know which you things can get very easy for me. Please, help, help me talk to her. Please. You're welcome. You go boy, you boy. Hey, level, Can I help you? I charu go one. I thank you, mom. Oh, you're young one. My fulfillment. My morning song. Um, excuse me. Thank you. Uche, we need to talk in private. Who gave you the temerity to come into my compound without my consent? Well, this is just to prove to you that I'm not such guy that keeps my relationship away from the family of the woman I intend to marry. I love you and I really want to be with you. Let this be the last time you will show your face to my mother. I do not want to be with you. No, you lie. I do not give up on the woman my heart beats for. I will come back here over and over and over again until you say yes to me. Come back here again. Be consumed by the seven demons from Aja of Yaobi that controls the night. Be warned. What just happened now? The voice was like a thunder. Son, um, dream is a communication between human and spirit being. Or sometimes aware of revealing secrets, revealing spiritual secrets. Um, if I may ask, how long has this been happening? Father, as long as I can remember. The dream is not the only problem here. The major problem is that each time I want to tell about the dream, I find it very difficult to remember anything. I would say fear is a major thing. Such things happen. I would like you to have it at the back of your mind. Be bold and face your dreams because your dream is you. All right. Thank you very much, Father. I will try. My brother said you were looking for me. Oh. I was kind of missing you. <laughs> As you can see, I'm fine now. She's not yours. I assure you, you will make babies. Mother, do you know that humans 
can actually be living with the source of their problem, seeing them every day without knowing about it? You're absolutely correct, my son. But why did you say that? Are you suspecting anyone? Uh, mother, not really. But remember this adage that says that the position of an ego is never liked by a kite. Not in a united family. Why did you say that? What happened? Mother, the mood I saw us all this afternoon has left millions of questions in my thoughts. Has it occurred to you that my wives normally die between six to seven months of their pregnancy? And they usually die in a mysterious way. I know that. But why did you say that? My brother also forcefully woke up from his sleep this afternoon like someone being chased by a demon. And when I confronted him to know what was the problem, instead of explaining to me, he got angry and started shouting at me that I entered his room uninvited. Maybe he's actually being chased by a demon. Or better still, my late wife's. Are you suspecting your brother? Are you? Oto, oto, yeye, yeye. Samana, oto, yeye. Oto, oto, yeye, yeye. Umo, tuasa, yeye. Akuru, batara, nubi. Kwambele, karata. Agene, kwambele, karata. Agene, kwambele, karata. Kwambele karata, agene kwambele karata, agene kwambele Oh, Father, karata. the melody of this song seems to give you lots of joy. My daughter, listen to me. When words of praise fails you. Supplication fails. The only thing that will hasten the full steps of the gods to us your supplication are words of melodious song. You see, my father was one of the best singers of all time. And that was why the gods were always with him. Hmm. That's nice. I'm happy. That, that reminds me. Father. There's this question I've been meaning to ask uh -huh. you and it's been bothering me for a while. Actually, it's concerning the royal household precisely. The royal house? Mm -hmm. Ask your question, my daughter. Okay. Ujuma was the fourth wife of Prince Ikena. And she died in a mysterious way, just like the previous wives makes me wonder does it mean the gods are not with him or he was never meant to get married to any woman at all mm. no the gods made every woman for a man but he can situation 
situation is hard for humans to explain. I have day and night called on the gods to explain to me how flawed entered into the royal farmland. As a matter of fact, he is supposed to produce a successor who will take over from him when his time on the surface of the earth is true. Is this also part of the prophecy? Because the other night in my dream, I saw him and he was wandering in a rather desolated island. There was no form of help for him. Even in my attempt to help, I was blown away by some deadly wind. A few days ago, there was the movement of thunder across the surface of the sea. It could be the letting free of the earth goddess Ani who was cast into the deep. Let us hope this kingdom is not consumed by it. My daughter, the prophecy is wild. Yet to find the complete puzzle. Ozo, I want to have a word with you now. Prince Ikenna, you look too serious. I hope all is well. I want you to explain to me about the dream you had yesterday night that made you react so strange. I have been trying to rub it off my mind, but it keeps playing back that I should ask you. What are you trying to say? I want you to explain to me every bit of the dream you had yesterday night, and I'm serious about it. Well, I owe you no explanation, and I hate explaining myself. That means my assumption is true. What's your assumption? You are the one responsible for the death of my wife's Excuse me. What did you just say? You had me right. You are the one responsible for the death of my wife's and unborn children. Ujuma was supposed to be the last person you are not supposed to hurt. But you killed her. She liked you! Prince Ikenna! This is the height of stupidity and I won't take it from you. How dare you accuse me of killing your wives and unborn children? What do I stand to gain? The throne! It is obvious you have set your ambition on claiming the throne of a banana kingdom. But let me tell you. What is the meaning of this madness? Father, I want also to explain to him what he has been doing with my late wife and my children. Because it is obvious he 
know something about that. Father, with all due respect, Prince, Ikenna here has lost his sense of reason. The next time you accuse me wrongly, I will deal with you mercilessly. Son, you can't accuse another based on your personal assumptions. Even the ghost will not be by your side. Put yourself together, okay? But father, not a word. Put yourself. favor and leave the road. This was not the voice you spoke to me with the other day. I have come to ask who you really are. What do you mean? Did I take another ship overnight that you stand before me to ask me who I am? Listen, I am not in for your stupidity right now. Do me a favor and leave the road. Fenua, who do you think you really are? Was it that easy? Your mother did not give birth to a man, was it? I am a full grown man with dynamic prospect. Yet you stand before me to emit rubbish. Because you're beautiful, so what? Even the goddess of the heavens has a husband. You will do well to tell us if you are a goddess and who you are betrothed to. I'm sure you're not trying to cross the afterlife by the entrances from your mouth. Watch what you say or you will be consumed by it. I am a true son of a banana. Never, never be frightened by words of a mere woman. Even if you're a spirit being, I will never fear you. Let that which you call come to you. I did not call forth that which would destroy you. You did, and so shall it be. Let the heavens bear me witness. Uche, the son of Genga. Uche, the lies of Ikobi. Okumobo Kwefu. I do not fear a man that calls a name and hides his face. I am Uche. A true son of a banana. I do not fear man. So shall I not fear any spirit. Show your face. Show your face. Show your face. Show your face. Son of 
the government. You call. We, we answer. answer. In our boat, we are. And your voice beckoned on us. We, we answer. answer. With your mouth, you called out the deadly spirit of Ekwe We, we answer. answer. What you seek, you shall find. We call for the spirit of death. And, and death, death, you, you shall die. Please. 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 talking about take a walk around the village you will hear the news of death walk with caution go now okay father but well, at least let me fetch you another cup of water to drink my thirst is quenched Father, Father, I have seen people die miserably, but this particular one is way beyond death. He was devoured. Figuring his personality was even hard for me. By the look of things, it's obvious he was killed by some deadly monster. My father is in his usual mood. What could have destroyed him in such a manner? But he was fine when I walked away. What in the name of God happened to him? Or am I the cause of his death?
place is strange, yo. Very strange. My dear daughter. You have been sitting here in confusion since you came back from the stream. What is the problem? And you have been acting strange too. What happened to you, my daughter? I'm a nothing. I'm fine. Should I get you your food? Mm. Of what use is the food when my only daughter, my only hope, my sunshine? What use is the food when you are not happy? Mom, mm? talk to me. I am your mother. Oh, Mama, nothing is wrong with me. I'm fine. You can see I'm smiling. Mm. Let me get you your food. Lolo. Yes, my love. I have spoken to both of them. I think it's a misunderstanding between them. You don't really have to bother yourself, okay? Why should I not? Ikena is fond of accusing his brother wrongly. My love, this kind of accusation is capable of setting the family apart. No, not when I'm still alive. Um, it can nice wrong, actually. But we must not stretch it too far. So that he doesn't think otherwise. Hmm? We have to tread with caution. No. He should mind his choice of ways. <sighs> um, Lolo. Yes, my love. I think it's time to see Akika. The death of that young man leaves some questions unanswered. I think something is specifically not in place. I heard his face was disfigured. I pray we all are not consumed. Mm. I pray so. Let that which you can.
to what end is my existence on earth? My faith finally failed me. Not even a child to bear my name when I am united with dust. My wife is of age and can no longer carry a child. My word holds on water within my country just because I have not Child. The entire Ebenan makes mockery of my condition. Chiokike, you have failed me. Never will I sing your praises. It has amounted to nothing. I watched the wicked prosper. Yet, I died every day in anguish. All faith is lost. All hope is gone. My life is useless. Chiukike, you are a disgrace of a god. Death is the better way to leave this world of misery and pain. Death is the better way to leave this world of misery and pain. What you seek, I have, and what you want, you shall be given. I am a rejected soul. My life means nothing without a child. Not in your making, because you are now a spirit being. Through you shall a child be given. The child belongs to the Queen Mother, Annie. Your name she will bear. Mockery and reproach will come to an end at the presence of this child. And when she is due, she will come back to me to accomplish the purpose of her creation. I will do as you wish. Hence the cry of a child will be heard in my household. The great mother has given her body to you. Go home and lay with your wife. She will bear you a child. Give her the name Ife Inwa. Return to your mother bin. My wife, please stop crying. The end of our misery has come. How? I must lay with you. And you will bear me a child. The funniest thing in life is for a man to make mockery of himself. Look at me. I have no feelings for a man. So, lay with me. Would be of no use. I am old. My wife can no longer carry a child. This is our fate. We must live with it, my husband. Not anymore. I feel different. Let's go. What am I to do? Ikemba is ours. The throne of Ikinasa is ours. You will gain access to the palace. That which is ours 
the name Ikemba. No. I've never heard that kind of name before. The land of Itinasa was mentioned. Where is Itinasa? My child, how did you come across all these names? <sighs> they no longer seem to exist. You had a dream. If they're no longer in existence, what about the name Bogona? An offspring of Itinasa. A man so close to my heart. He stood by me even when the elders of Ebenano thought I was a witch and could not bear a child. He was your father. And he was a bear. I did. I called you myself. You know I love the both of you equally. As a matter of fact, my son, no real woman in her right thinking who wants to see her children making trouble or have misunderstanding. Please, my son, I just want you to tell me the whole truth about this issue. Do you in any way have a hand in what has been happening to your brother's wife and children? Do you? I am disappointed in you, mom. Oh yes, have you joined them? Have you joined them? You know how much I suffered to protect my brother even as a child. So why would I hurt him now? Why? I never said you did. I was only trying to find out the truth. What truth, mom? No, tell me, what truth? I have no hand in whatever that is happening to my brother's late wives and unborn children. Yes, he can verify that from any native doctor of his choice. I don't want to be questioned about this issue again. Excuse me. Oza! You... Oza! Stop that right now! Can you imagine? He cannot say I'm responsible for the death of his wife and unborn children. 
when I have nothing to do with their death. Who does that? Who does that? Naya, I say it's okay. Father, Are you mad? Father, have you seen? I, I will kill you. Father, Father, have you seen it? After killing my wife, they're going to kill you. You cannot want to kill me physically. But have you seen it? Can you prove the nonsense you are saying? Can you prove it? Can you? How dare you judge me by my accusation? I have no business with the death of your wives and your unborn children. Oza! My Wagiba, Moza, what is it? Calm down, okay? Please, please calm down. We can always settle this as a family. Be calm, Listen, Ikenna, the next time you try this, Ikenna, the next time you try this, I swear I will kill you. You people should talk to him. Yes, you people should talk to him. Because the next time he tries this, I will kill him. I hate it when you accuse me wrongly. I love you. Ikenna! Ikenna! What is wrong with you? Why this accusation? You are taking it too far. Mother. mother Why? Mother. Ikenna! You don't have the right to accuse him wrongly. You don't! Mother, I know what I'm talking about. Can you prove what you're saying? Mother, I know what I saw in his room. The look in his eyes says it all. My dead wives were coming to kill him. The spirit of my dead wives were coming after him before I woke him up. I oh. know what I'm talking about, mother. Oh, can I shut up? How can you be saying this at your age and your exposure? You still think like a child. Eh? The next time, I swear, the next time you try this, I will kill you. <laughs> Father, have you seen it? Have you seen it? It is obvious. Also wants to kill me. He wants to kill me so that when I die, he will become the next king of this land. But have you seen it? Go inside your room and put yourself together. Please go. Thank you, the one blessed with the wisdom of the gods. Thank you, your highness. The place of a wise man is a place for counsel. Last time you visited the palace, you talked of a calamity that will befall the land. After that, my son's wife died. Some days later, a lot of issues have been happening in the palace. My son, also on the Kenna, have been having conflict. It all started when he can now witness Ozo wake up from a terrible nightmare. And uh, Ikenna said his wife is after Ozo. Wise one, I have tried to ask him some questions and he refused to tell me anything. Um, I know you are really good in communicating with the gods. Can you in any way tell me if the younger brother has a hand in the death of Ikenna's wives? The first it is wrong to accuse one over what he or she sees in the dream. On the 
down. They are perfect pictures and medium through which uh, uh, the gods speak to us. Some in parts of words of prophecies. Uh, it says that when the prophecy is almost due, the young shall see visions and the old shall dream dreams tell he can to hold his peace and tell also to see me oh thank you wise one I'll do as you have said. He'll be here to see you. Your Highness, he whose path has been cleared by the gods can never be afraid of a journey. Go your path. Has been cleared. Wise one. The wise one. What happened to you? Listen, don't come close to me. Don't come close to me. Don't come close to me. No, 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 no! Can you tell us what you saw in your dream? For some time now, we've been watching you struggle to wake up. Tell us, what did you see? I... I saw four children shedding, shedding blood instead of tears and asking me to help them. What more do you have to hide us on? Mother, is it not now too obvious that also knows exactly what I've been having to my wives and unborn children? Ikenna, yes. with all due respect, leave my room. Leave my room! What is going on here? Father, another nightmare. Another nightmare that exposes his evil character. He said he was chased. Thank you very much, my elder. Thank you. You have spoken like a man, full with the wisdom of the gods. I have been telling my people in the palace that Ozor doesn't like my progress, but they won't believe me. The problem now is, what should I do? My prince, the worst thing that will happen to a man is when he leaves and watch his enemies force his hands into fire. Monitor every movement of your brother. A man 
Who wants to kill another man? The question is, does he hang his own life on top of Iroko tree? Well, is it sometimes what kills a man is always living with him? Every now and then I keep having horrible dreams. And the confusing part is, they call me names I know nothing about in those dreams. What name is that? Ikemba, son of Ezefekibea. Kemba, son of Zayfekibia. Ah. Wise one, do you know anything about that name? A lot of history is embedded in that name. I would like you to answer. Have you ever heard the name Itenasa in your dream? Just like a fire set in Ozara knows no limits. So shall my anger be. Till everything in Itinasa is consumed by my anger. Yes. I have. In one of the dreams. I have also heard that name. But that was when I was still young. My son, I think it is time we head back to the beginning. I will give you some things. Go back to the palace. Place them on your bed. Then come back and tell me everything you see. Your dream. Hello. I have ears to hear things happening around this kingdom. But of what use am I to the people of Ibenano when I have a mother to take care of? She's all that matters to me. If you heard about the things happening in this kingdom, so why didn't you run away like other girls? <laughs> Well, fear is nowhere close to me. You're only unfortunate to witness the continued death of your wives. Besides, it has nothing to do with me. My fate is different from theirs. I like your boldness, and I would like to take you to the palace. Well, in that case, I'll come to the palace tomorrow. 
If only your guards will allow me in. Why not? I will be waiting for you. All right. See you then. Seats of the seven pure river beds of the heavens. Greetings. What is deep and beyond human understanding is answerable at your fingertips. What we do not know, you know. Before creation, you existed. Many questions hold unanswered in the land of Ebenano. That name again springs of itself. You seek to return to the beginning of time. Before the people of the Tinas are split into the age, you seek to know where men and spirits are You seek to know the beginning of the end, when that truth was taken, broken at the altar of truth, in that time with the death of the king. You seek to know the deeds that are done to the spirit being, who are once done to God. Then it brought to the people of the Tinas. You seek to know where it all began. You seek to know the life that gave birth to death. You seek to know the fights that gave birth to darkness and the night that gave birth to death. I do not know what the king of Misha
Please, I am to be united with mortals, feeling the affections of humans. Peace I bring to the land of mortality. I have come to feel the pleasure of the earth. Okaka, you gave life to my likes, just like you gave to mortals. I seek for unity with humans. I wish to feel the embrace of mortals. Grant me my wish, you must. Your, your action seems more satisfying uh, to, to all our, all, all our toyings without, with, without a result for it. So who are you to question the gods when they decide not to crown your effort? Hmm? Don't forget, no one can cast stone to the sky. But my prince, don't forget we've been toiling over a full moon now. Eh? And we cannot even have a little squirrel, nothing to show off. Not even the smallest of their kind. Keep your faith alive, my friend. Patience. Patience. For oh, my prince, for how long? For how long will you keep having this patience? Or keeping this patience? Let's try the east. Keep your feet alive. so perfect for humans. Hmm. What a pleasant feeling to be a human. Be doing here all alone. Let's find out. Have you lost your sense of honor? Why do you not bow to the Prince of Itanasa? It's only a foolish man that we heed the title instead of sorting for solutions and a fruitless toil. Who are you? My personality does not add or remove anything from the fact that you've been wandering all day with nothing to reward your efforts. But I can help you. 
if you can keep your pride aside and allow me to show you how to hunt. What do you mean? You mean a woman like you teaching great hunters like us how to hunt? Is that supposed to be an insult or mockery? I like the way you talk. You talk with so much confidence. Please, teach us. I will help you with a promise that I'll have my own share when you're done preparing it. You're a joker. We've not even seen a rabbit. And you're here talking of giving you a prepared portion of it. But, but... Izu. My prince. Butuo. Mind how you talk to a maiden. I promise to give you part of it when we are done. So please, teach us. Come with me. to understand the joy you derive from all these things you're doing. Eh? To what end? My prince, I told you that she's here to make mockery of us. You, 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 you countered it. Eh? Now look at it by what was happening here. Shoot here. You will kill something. I believe you. My prince, don't shoot anything. There, 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 there's nothing here, my prince. Will you keep quiet and let me concentrate? Obey before complain. Quiet! Only humans can be patient. They will gain unmeasurable favor from the gods. Question Ikedi. Over his mindless and fruitless hunting? I mean, the whole land is in disarray, and all he thinks of is hunting. Even the best hunters in this land have all quit 
just to seek for a solution. Every man's life seems right to him. Son, it is not in his place to seek solution to this land. It is between you and I. Because you are the next to the throne of eternal son. And remember, death does not seek permission before taking anybody's life. And you should have at the back of your mind that you are the next to the throne of Itenaza. I might be the next person to die. No, Father. He is also from the royal family. The well-being of our people should be our utmost concern. People are dying every day. The land is barren. Things are going from worst to worst. What do we do? This is a question I've asked the gods countless times. They still remain silent. Son, go to your chamber and have a rest. Hmm? When he comes back, you ask him questions. He's your younger brother. Hmm? I am a man of my word. Whatever I say, that I will do. You sound like a god. Are you one? No, I'm not. Just that I choose my words carefully. You have not told me where to bring the meat when I'm done. Or better still, take me to your heart. My heart doesn't befit royalty. Don't worry. I'll wait for you here. <laughs> How long will you wait for me here all by yourself? Besides, you know the meat will take time to be ready. I'll wait. My prince, please, can we go? She said she will wait. Let's go. Patience. Patience. Don't worry, go. I'll wait. All right, then, if you insist. But you haven't told me your name. My name is Annie. Or Anioma. Or rather, you can call me. Omalicha. Omalicha. I like it. Omalicha. My name is Ikemba. Son of Eze Ifekibea. I knew you longer than you can imagine. Go home. I will be waiting for you. My prince. Let's go. Let's go. Effortlessly, the gods finally blessed us with a purple pie. 
<laughs> May the gods be praised. You are the true son of your father. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> you came back. You're welcome. Thank you, Father. Yeah. Hi. Can you imagine? Father. I am amazed you are saying these words. People are dying in their numbers. And you stand here to praise my brother, who left all these problems just to hunt a mere porcupine. This is to show that the gods have not abandoned us. They even remembered us in these difficult times. Wise one. Your legs have carried you into a very good omen. After days of hunting in the bush without success, my son was favored in his hunting. Igwe. Wise one. My senses fail me to understand how it feels to be favored. My eyes are filled with tears over the calamities that are befalling this kingdom. Igwe, what is about to befall your subjects cannot be described by mortals. All the first sons of this land shall be grouped by the cold hands of death. Igwe, your home is not exempted. As I hear, so I speak. Igwe, did my work. Father, am I going to die? Amalika, like I said, this is your own portion of the meat. Like I promised. My word is greater than my name. So whatever I say, I must do. No matter what happens. This is your own portion of the meat. Like I promised. How does this satisfy you and everybody? Satisfaction comes from Chukuo Kikabia, my lord. I have done my own part of the bargain. It's time for me to return to the palace. Because the land of Itenansa is in disarray. The evil that looms is worse than death itself. I've wandered through this land. Everyone I came across had no smile on their face. Happiness seems very far away from them. And even you, you carry this same face too. Yes, that's because too many evil has befallen the land of Itenansa in recent time. And the worst is yet to happen. There is fear in the land because very soon every firstborn from this land will die. 
according to equity care, the wise one. And that's a big problem. You're not a firstborn. Why are you troubled? Whatever troubles my brother, troubles me. My brother's burden is also mine. I don't want him to die. So, so you think that the dead people will be Every person who was affected. So, it was that even if I'm not of our father what is it that was done that made you turn your back on us speak to your servant and we shall have the land cleansed to your likeness don't let our son die I shall be right back, Father. the help you need. <clears throat> Omolita, why are you sounding as if you are not from this community? 
Are you not aware that people are dying on daily basis? Even as we speak, my elder brother is slowly dying. Your brother will not die. I can put an end to his illness and restore the way for days. May the gods be praised. Ah, finally. Greetings, Father. Greetings, my elders. My prince, my prince. Father, see, the gods have healed me. I am back to my normal self again. <laughs> May the gods be praised. Hey, that's of our land. Joy hey. has returned to the land. You promised to take me to your house. So what are we doing in the river? This is where I stay. Beyond what you see lays a kingdom. A kingdom more beautiful than the word beauty. A kingdom where sorrow abides not. It's made of pure gold and silver. It's a place meant for the gods. I sit side by side with the creator. There is where my throne is made. I was hungry of human feelings, so I took through this path to be with humans. When the time is right, I will bring you to my kingdom. Our kingdom, where your throne will be made. A throne such that eyes have never seen and ears have never heard. When you become king, you will rule and control the affairs of all the creatures in this world. The rivers and the earth shall be answerable to you. Omalicha, this sounds funny. There is no kingdom here. This is a river. This can't be your house. Be serious. My love. This is who I am. Father, I knew it. That something was never right with that maiden. I have been telling you to talk to your son, but you wouldn't. Now look at him. Hold yourself in there. Let's pray to the ghost that he comes back to life first. Then we'll know what to do. Arise, Ikemba, son of a fearless lion. Arise. Where is my love? No, son. Never. Never will I hear you mention that name here. She does not belong to this palace. Meaning? She is not human. Or Malija is a spirit that should not be associated with humans. Flee from her. I will do no such thing. Yes. You can't tell me to flee away from Omalicha. No. I won't. Absolute nonsense. You are my brother. The son of a king. You can never be with the goddess. Never. Not possible. You are the one talking nonsense here. Because the same maiden in question saved your life. This same maiden 
saved this land from misery. She brought back happiness. She brought back light and life. So how dare you tell me to stay away from her? I will do no such thing. What she did was to win you over, my son. You must end that relationship today. Ekwedike, you should be ashamed of yourself. Yes. Where were you when people were dying? Where were you when she saved our land from misery? You were nowhere to be found. So don't tell me to leave Omalicha. Father, I already promised her my love. And there is no going back on that. Promise my foot. I have told you she's not a woman. Let human be human. And let a goddess be a goddess. Let me worry about that, Father. Omalicha is the love of my life. Nothing can stop us. Don't walk out on me. I am your father. And I am the king of this land. I dictate what happens in this place. Guards! My king. It's my king. Take him and lock him up. All right, my king. This way. This way. Are you sure you know what you're doing, father? Kani jebe, mabulu ni silike jebe, ijebe, ijebe. Kani jebe, ijebe, mabulu ni silike jebe, ijebe, ijebe. Agwa turumbe suru kete, kusina lamo webiawa. Agwa turumbe suru kete, kusina lamo webiawa. Kani jebe, mabulu ni silike jebe, ijebe, ijebe. Greetings, my king. You're welcome. Greetings, Ekwedike. My king, I have come to be with my betrothed, Ikemba. I know you, goddess of Ani. What do you want from mortals like us? You are our goddess, and as such, you have nothing to do with us mortals. Go back to where you belong. A promise was made, and that promise must be kept. Give back who is rightfully mine, and I will let you be in peace. But if you dare hold him back, I will burn this land and reduce you to nothing. You do not belong here, and will never belong to this place. I will never watch you get married to my son. Stay away from my son and everything that has to do with my people. Are you not supposed to mean well to us? And yet you speak of destruction. Are you not the goddess of the earth? Goddess of the underworld? Are you not guardian of harvest and fertility? And guardian of everything that has breath? Why do you seek favor from those mortals like us? My son will never marry you. Never. You just said the word never. Wait and see the anger of a goddess. Spare no one in this land. I have spoken. I am coming back soon. The worst. It's about to happen. To Let the heavens fall, let the earth tremble. 
I will make sure Itinasa becomes nothing. Destroy every living soul in this land. What they made of me, I will make of them. What are you doing to my people? Is this the description of your love? Why are you killing innocent people for no just cause? I did. You brought upon yourself and your subjects. All the gods of the heavens and the gods that control the rising and the falling of the sun. The gods that give light to the moon. They are all present in the heavens. When you spoke with your deceitful tongue. With your mouth, you made a promise of love. With your very being, you spoke the word inseparable, forcing my hands to accomplish your desires. When that which was promised was due, you turned your back on me. Making mockery of my existence, provoking my anger. Endless, Endless is your anger. anger. I am made of love. But your treachery has awoken the unspeakable part of Annie. Just like a fire set in Ozara knows no limits, so shall my anger be till everything in Itinasa is consumed by my anger. Their flesh we shall feed on, their blood we shall drink. Their voice of money shall be as melody, and we shall dance thereof. Amalija! It's not such word, it came back! My name is Annie! Annie Bebe! Sinabido Ronanjelebe! This part I have seen so many times in my dreams, and the same name mentioned. Kimba. Incident of prophecy and recognition are from the same source. <laughs> How long did the 
Angalvani last. Not too long once the equipment is set at the ultimate price. Blood offering must be made to shut the gate of Ani. I accept to pay with my own blood. Let it be remembered in the history of Itenasa that I, Equidike, paid with my own blood to wage the war of immortality. Igwe, you and the rest of the people left in this land must continue to offer prayers and sacrifices to the gods to hold back Ani forever. If not, the evil days shall return after many generations. And if the evil days return, it will start from your household. Because you made a promise, and there must be one way or the other to fulfill it. Words of promise spoken must not be despised. Even Chubuokike will hold it against you. Tell my story to as many generations as will come. You shall ever be remembered in this land. Go well, my good friend, Ekwedike. You will ever be remembered. Your father, the king, is a very considerate man. He doesn't want another woman to die mysteriously again. I saw the fear in his eyes. They know what I've been through in this kingdom. But I have to thank you for your boldness. You are the bravest of all the women I've seen in this kingdom. Why are you thanking me? I only acted on your command. You asked me to come to your house and that's what I did. Is of Annie. We 
must win a mortal body and probably unite her with her love. Only then shall peace return to the land. And the prophecy averted forever. If not, we shall all face everlasting condemnation. Not again, not again, not again. I chose to give me your soul. The sorrow for life. I chose to give me your Not a cane, not a cane. Oh, I see me daily when no more. To fall, he came up for ya. I chose to give me your I chose Is this my judgment day? Have I completed my stay on the surface of this earth? From Itanasa to the current stage of Benano lays beneath the foot you step on. The prophecy. It begins with you and ends with you. Only if you will let go your human nature and redress your being to the foot of Osepolowa. Only then shall a banana be spared. I am coming. Great Akika, I am coming. Here and nobody noticed her. The things of the spirit are inclined to the spirit. Let's 
let us pray. She comes. Please, can you show me where I can ease myself? She's about. Yes, my queen. Take her to my quarters. vengeance back in the time of times you pleaded and I hearkened to your voice and threw away my bitterness same thing I ask of you it is favor for favor please let this cause be broken please my daughter go ahead and say the word Speak it and let all this be over. I know you can hear my voice. Say it and end this anarchy. Go ahead, my daughter. Speak it. I forgive you. I forgive you. Good. I forgive you. It is done. It is done. A drop of her blood will shut down. The gateway forever. The gateway is shut. Forever. And now, let peace reign in a banana land forever and ever. And what will happen to my son, Ikenna? Take him to his chambers by sunset tomorrow he will be fine now i can die a fulfilled man before my presence and the banana has regained total freedom and peace. A seminar. Destiny has taken its curse. You must let go. You will have a wife who will be your own. Your family shall be prosperous and recognized throughout the world. Your name shall stand throughout the human race. You fought a good fight. Now let this be a warning to the people of a banana and the entire world. 
do not make a promise in hesitation or under pressure. Read meaning to every word that comes from your mouth. It is well with a banana. Oh,